Hi, my name is Claire, and I'm going to read Murder Miles. Murder Miles by John Burningham. This is Miles. Miles was given a home by Alice Troge and her son Norman, but Miles was a very difficult dog. Miles did not come when he was called, did not like going for walks, and did not like his food or the rain. He barked too much. And he didn't like other dogs. Alice, Trudge, and Norman were very fond of Miles, even though he was a difficult dog. What Miles really liked was to go for a ride in the car up the hill to the cafe. At the cafe, people said, oh, what a lovely dog. I can't go on day after day taking the dog out in the car just to please him, said Alice Truge. What your dog needs is his own car, said Mr. Huddy, the man who lived next door. How can I possibly get a car for the dog, said Alice Truge. I will make a car for miles, said Mr. Huddy. So Mr. Hoodie started to make the car for Miles, and every day after school, Miles and Norman would go to see the car being made. Finally, Mr. Hoodie finished the car, and it was ready for Miles. We will have to give you driving lessons, said Mr. Hoodie to Miles. Miles practiced going right, going left, and going backward. Quick stop. After many lessons, Miles had learned to drive and was ready to go on the road. One morning, Alice Truge could not take Norman to school and did not know what to do. I could squeeze into Miles's car, said, and he could take me to school, said Norman. When Norman arrived at school in a car driven by a dog, all the other children were amazed. After that, Norman and Miles began to go on the secret little trips in the car. One day, they went to the seaside very early in the morning. Other mornings, they would drive out onto the countryside. They drove through leaves in the autumn. And once in the winter, they drove out and played in the snow. Miles was getting easier. He liked walks, his food, and other dogs. He didn't mind the rain, barked less, and came when he was called. But Norman was growing up and getting bigger, and soon he could no longer fit in the car. Miles stopped driving. Maybe he didn't like being on his own, so the car was put away. One day, Miles and Norman heard a lot of noise coming from Mr. Huddy's workshop. Let's go see what Mr. Huddy is up to now, said Norman. Mr. Huddy was starting to make an airplane. I wonder what it's for. The end.